Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Vex Beer Review. Today, I certainly do appreciate you stopping by. I bet this is going to be a very tasty beer, guys. This is Treehouse Brewing's 7, and this commemorates their 7th anniversary. Uh, it's one of the beers they've done several, uh, and I've got a couple of them that Greg has sent me, and he sent me this one. Uh, and here on the, it's got the big, pretty plain label on this thing. Got the big 7 on it. Then on the side it says seven. Seven is a beer brewed to mark our seventh anniversary and to pay homage to the hard work of the many people who are responsible for making Treehouse what it is today. Brewed with a heavy dose of oats and our very favorite selections of Galaxy, Amarillo, etc. Seven is a tropical oasis in a glass featuring notes of pineapple, papaya, mango, lychee, and tangerine juice. Thank you for supporting us and giving us the opportunity to share our craft with you. And Treehouse is a, doesn't distribute, brewery only releases, and but yet they date their stuff. So all you breweries that are even doing brewery only releases, you need to date your stuff. These guys can, why can't you? So uh, you don't have to be distributed to have a dating machine. If you're releasing everything from the brewery, we still need, we, we want that. We want that date on there so we know what we're getting and how old it is. And this one has, uh, six six of nineteen. So, uh, and today is uh, seven twelve. So, this is slightly over a month old uh, in the can. Big sixteen ounce can, plain Jane silver can with a wrap around stick on label. And like I said, it comes to me by the way of Greg. And he says it's a double IPA commemorating their seventh anniversary. Eight point six percent ABV on this one, guys. Uh, over to Untapped. Uh, they have a fairly long description but I am going to read it we don't have the IBU says we are super excited to share this singular milestone making beer with you seven is a treehouse double IPA brewed in celebration of our seventh anniversary the utilizes heavy hot side and cold side doses of warrior Citra galaxy and amarillo hops with an oat and dextrin malt heavy base beer to create a thick double IPA with insane notes of pineapple passion fruit orange creamsicle melon soda and pink bubblicious. It has a rich mouthfeel and tight carbonation that is both gentle and pleasing to the feel on the tongue. This beer is a cornucopia of uh, fruity hot flavor the likes of which we have never brewed before. Thank you for your continued support and giving us the opportunity to continue pursuing our passion. I love their beers guys. Uh, they're not giving us the IBUs because a lot of times that's irrelevant depending on their hopping techniques, but they give us the canned on date and a lot of them have it uh, as far as uh, ABV, uh, not always, but uh, it's not that hard to find. I don't see it on this one. Uh, a lot of times they don't, uh, but it's very easy to find either by going by our Beer Advocate or Rate Beer or their website. So uh, with that being said, uh, I really enjoy getting beer mail packages where I have Treehouse or Trillium or some of these New England or Northeastern style beers in them because I love them guys. They have ruined me. They have absolutely ruined my palate. Uh, what I used to think of West Coast style was a 10 beer. These uh, blow those out of the water uh, to me with the hop aroma and the hop taste that I'm getting. Uh, that is the ultimate style of beer if you're a hop head guys. Uh, so, with that being said, we've got all the information we need, so I'm going to stop flapping my gums and start pouring the beer. Big 16 ounce can. We won't get it all into the glass on the original pour here. Looks very, very hazy coming out. Very much like a New England style beer. 
looks a lot like grapefruit juice coming out and it is very well carbonated we're getting about a finger and a half head on that pour it loves it like orange juice guys don't you think look at that awesome looking beer very cloudy very hazy slightly lighter color than an orange juice like I said maybe a half and half between orange and grapefruit juice a little bit lighter but definitely looks like a New England style beer to me to the nose we go oh that is absolutely fantastic aroma I'm getting grapefruit, pine, pineapple, papaya, peaches, oranges. I'm getting a little creamsicle in there too. I mean, it's, it's got a very, very pleasant aroma. Wow. Absolutely outstanding. If I was judging this beer on aroma, it would be a 10. The aroma is definitely a 10. Smells outstanding. Smells awesome. Smells delicious. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg. Mm. Wow. That is so smooth for an 8.6%. It drinks like a 6, 6.5%, guys. I'm not getting a big bitterness on the taste. Very smooth very balanced very impressive I would buy these guys beers religiously if I live close enough to the brewery they would they would know me by name and I'd probably have a reserved parking place because I'd be there so damn often I'd be there every time they released a new beer I'm so glad that I have subscribers and friends. I consider Greg a, a good friend of mine. He has been here. He has visited. We have done reviews together. I feel so privileged to have those kinds of friends and subscribers that send me these outstanding world-class beers. And this pretty much tastes like that. Let's do the back end pour. And I'm going to swirl this around a little bit, and that's probably going to reinforce the head, but I want to make sure there's no settling has gone on and get all that hot juiciness into the glass. And we don't want to leave anything in the can. Their beers are not cheap beers to buy, but they are world class. They do them all very, very well, no matter what style it is, whether it's a a stout or a, a IPA or a double IPA. The head brewer there knows what they're doing. So let's sip on this and we'll come back and we'll give this thing a grade. I am very impressed with this like I usually am with the things that come out of Treehouse. So I'll be right back. Hello everybody, I'm back. I've been sipping on this for a while. Awesome lacing is left on the glass. Awesome beer in the glass. Guys, I would buy this beer religiously if I could get it here. This is outstanding. As most of the stuff that I get from Treehouse is. I uh, feel so blessed to get beer sent to me from this brewery. So Greg, thanks again, my brother. I do appreciate it. Uh, these guys at Treehouse know what the hell they are doing. And they know how to do it. And they know how to package it. Even though their labels a lot of times are fairly plain. Uh, I just assume them to be concentrating on what's going inside that can instead of a bunch of fancy printed up artwork uh, on the can that's either going to be recycled or thrown away. Uh, so maybe this is no exception. Seven is a great example of a uh, Imperial or double IPA to commemorate their seventh anniversary. Very, very tasty beer guys. Uh, exceptional. World class. Final show. Awesome aroma. Awesome, outstanding. Very smooth. Alcohol is so well hidden, you think you were drinking a six percenter, guys. Wow. Absolutely delicious. It is a 10 for me, guys. It is outstanding. It's world class. I can't think of a single reason why I would not give it that 
based on what I am selling and why I, what I am tasting and the information they're giving me on the can even though a lot of times they don't give us the ABB it's very easy to find on one side or the other uh, I wish they would put it on there but uh, a lot of times these breweries uh, have to go through the label approving process they want to use these labels over and over again but this is the seventh commemorating their seventh anniversary they're probably not going to do it again next year would be the eighth instead of the seven so I don't know why they don't put the ABV on there yeah maybe they don't know what the ABV is going to be when they uh, uh, submit these labels for approval I don't know guys I don't have that information but what I just finished up here is an outstanding beer and if you don't think it's an outstanding beer you have probably bought the wrong beer you probably don't appreciate a New England style beer like I do and this is outstanding to me but it's just my opinion and that's it it is my opinion and you know what I may love you may hate and what and vice versa what you may love I may hate so with that being said let's jump over to Beer Advocate they have it at 4.31 outstanding it is it's an outstanding beer guys and over to Beer Advocate they have it at 4.47 outstanding numbers from those guys not the best I've seen, but pretty damn close. Uh, so, and I could give it a, a nine, but why? I don't. I, I can't think of anything that I would say to change it to make it better. Uh, it is absolutely awesome the way it is, and with the alcohol being as well hidden as it is, it will sneak up on you. So guys, drink responsibly. Uh, don't think you can have one or two or three of these and drive somewhere. Oh, I'm a big boy. I can handle it. Yeah, after you go through a DUI checkpoint, then you'll be looking at the long end of the Johnny Lawless arm or looking at the end of a flashlight and get that ride downtown in the back of a police car. So drink responsibly, don't see you get hurt or anybody else get hurt. Don't hurt any innocent people because you think you're a macho man. So with that being said, if you've had the seven from Treehouse, let me know what you think. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge, yeah.